Hello, my beautiful Virgos. How are you today? Welcome to 2021's first reading of the year. We're going to get started and see the overall energy in your love relationship right now. What is the overall energy for our beautiful Virgo friends, the thinkers and analyzers of the Zodiac? Mercurial minds, always solving problems and always true to your work ethic. Okay, no matter what the topic. Look at caring connections. Is that gorgeous or what? Okay, we like that. Virgo, you're you're very you like to be connected to others but in the tarot card you're also the hermit always searching for answers okay so what do we see here we have blossoming abundance virgo what is going on i love it we will see what we shall see for all of those who are new to tarot please know that this is like a buffet table it's a general reading sun moon rising and venus i would highly advise you to watch your ascendant sign your moon and your venus and if you're new you have to know these are general readings this is not a personal reading so if it this is like a buffet table i will talk about different things saying if for some of you this will be true so like a buffet table you take that or you don't if it's not yours okay walking away okay virgo what are you walking away from you're walking away from something into blossoming abundance and a caring connection i like that energy okay so let's look and see what we have for oops <laughs> i love my cards when they get old and fat <laughs> it's like a, it's a, they're hard to shuffle i have ordered a new deck these are beautiful cards by chris ann called the light sears tarot Let's take a look. Virgo, Virgo, what is your love story at this time? What is your energy field? What is happening? Okay, you are trying to figure something out. The Seven of Swords can mean that you're spying on someone, but it also means that you're seeking answers, you're seeking the truth. For some of you, you may actually be sneaking around to see someone. The Seven of Swords oftentimes indicates lying, either being lied to or you lying or having deception. The Seven of Swords is an exchange of power. So knowledge is power, so you can either withhold it to maintain power you can misuse knowledge by uh, misdirection but what we're seeing is that you are seeking a new beginning with someone a relationship so right now you're being very stealthy very strategic to get a new beginning with someone so somebody has completed a cycle. Now, the world card is one of, it's the most successful card in the deck. It's a beautiful card. It means that you think the world of someone Virgo and someone thinks the world of you. The, we see the snake that eats itself. So with every beginning, every ending, there is a new beginning. So when we leave school, we go do something else. You know, when we become toddlers or babies, you know, we go to the next step and we learn something new. So what I'm seeing is that you are moving away from a very difficult situation in which you feel as though someone wasn't honest with you. You want a new beginning for yourself, and you also want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So anyone that is has lied to you or deceived you in any way or even played mind games with you anyone who's come into your life and tried to sort of usurp power in your life is someone that you are moving away from because we go from the six of swords to the seven of swords now you're sort of like in this mode of feeling like you are like special forces you know here's the navy seals or the you know whatever special forces and you're looking for answers and these crows are accompanying you and they are giving you all kinds of information what we see here also virgo this is your energy you look good you smell good you feel good you're happy with your life you're satisfied with your life you don't really feel as though you need anyone at this time 
what else do we have here for our Virgo friends? What you want is quality. When we get into the coins, we're talking about what you value. Value for you, Virgo, is very much centered around your independence, your ability to be creative, your ability to work and operate independently in the area of financial security. You are attracting or desirous of the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a legacy relationship that is also Virgo energy. You're willing to do the work to have the legacy. Uh, of course, you know, you are the rulers of the sixth house. Every day you're willing to do the work that's required. So what I'm seeing here is that you are moving away from a situation that caused you a lot of pain and with somebody who was deceptive or played games with you. And you're on the lookout now. You're really on high alert with that person. The Page of Pentacles tells me that someone's going to come in. We have a page coming in. Could be somebody younger than you. Could be somebody, who, if you're middle-aged, who has children. But what we see here is a very small plan. This is like, well, let's go out to dinner and talk. That is as big as that offer is. Maybe not even that big. It's just more practical. Hey, can I stop by? Can we have coffee? It's a small offer of an activity that you can count on. The person's gonna show up for this and they really want it. And it is the building block or the first building block to something new that could bring you abundance, ultimately ending in a committed relationship. The Queen of Swords says, that's Libra energy, and the Queen of Swords says that you're just not too interested, Virgo, in anything that doesn't serve you. If somebody isn't telling you the truth, that they're going to play games, you know, you're, you've closed out one cycle of that, and I don't see you entering anyone, any, any cycle like that, anytime soon. You are at a crossroads, and you know that it's time to make a decision. As you can see here in this card, she has a road map. We have, if you look at this card very closely, except I need to fix my cards here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so when we look at the card here, you can see that there is like a Volkswagen bus. There is a surfboard next to the bus. So what we see is someone with a globe who's planning to take a journey, and that is what you're doing. You want to take a journey of self-exploration. You want to take a journey that allows you to step back and look at what has worked in your life and what has not worked in your life. You are very much holding your feelings inside. You're not really willing to give a lot at this time. You want to get your mojo back, and you are, I would say most of you who have already, you know, gotten to this point. She is bossing up in her own life. She's leveling up. She's being her own best friend. She's going after what she wants. This is a feminine energy, so it is being successful in life by attracting what you need to you. You are in this energy, Virgo, of throwing caution to the winds in the near future. <clears throat> so you really want to be enthusiastic. You want to feel excited every day when you get up. Um, you want that youthful exuberance that is very important to you, to feel like life has something new and exciting every single day. The moon card tells me that you are underwater in terms of your emotions. So right now you're very much, I just dropped a bunch of cards, okay. <laughs> hold it, hold on. Okay. So what I'm getting here for you, Virgo, is that when it comes to your emotions, you're underwater. You know, you really feel as though in your emotional life you can't gain any ground. This tells me that you're in a situation where you feel like you're drowning. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, in many ways, I feel as though you operate very independently within that relationship. For those of you who are, are married, you may be in a situation where it's sort of a no-win situation. You're making the best of it. You have children. You're just trying to get through the day. You're trying to plan and plot your future, which may or may not have anything to do with this other person. But what I see is that you are very troubled. This is Neptune energy. And Neptune is squaring your sun and your ascendant right now in the zodiac. So it really tells me that you are not very clear about how to find emotional fulfillment. 
you're very solid in every other way. Your discernment, your ability to communicate, your ability to plan for the future, your ability to make decisions and level up. You're very powerful. But when it comes to your emotions, you feel very vulnerable. You feel very much caught up in your head. Eight of Swords energy. I don't know what to do, so I won't do anything. I'm going to put a blindfold on. I just don't want to see the fact that I'm, I feel every day when I get up that my emotions are completely confusing to me, as are the people around me and my relationships. The Page of Swords is a spy card. It's seeking enlightenment. It's trying to find answers so that you can, and you're willing to take a risk because this page is walking across an area between two cliffs. There's a waterfall way below the page. This person is walking barefoot on a sword. So to seek enlightenment in the past, you feel as though it was very risky, that you've taken, you've made some risky moves, you thought that you could trust a situation and you're finding out that you can't trust it. So right now you're just pulling backwards. You know, you're very much not looking. Um, you just don't want to see what you don't want to see. These three cards indicate that you really feel at risk, basically. You're not happy with how things are going. Everything in your outer life, everybody feels as though you're doing well, but inside you are suffering. So let's see what else we have. The two of coins, okay. So for many of you, you could be juggling two ideas, two thoughts, two people, two relationships. You could be juggling two jobs. You could be juggling a lot of different variations. And you don't see yourself as being able to just have one and be happy. However, what we see here is a series of cards that says that you are instinctively and intuitively understanding that you need to make a choice, you need to drop a coin, stop juggling someone or some situation. You need to make a commitment and that you need to leave something behind, someone, some place, something, some job, some situation to find your happiness. Otherwise, you live in this constant state of anxiety. So we're going to clarify this and see what's going on. Okay. There's a lot of really good news here. This is a very powerful reading. I like a lot of what I see. It really speaks to the fact that you are going through a process that will render you a happier life. Okay. So the Nine of Wands means that you are powering through, that you are definitely doing the work that you need to do at this time. You're seeking answers. You're, you know, spending a lot of time. I would even say in the middle of the night, sometimes you wake up and you seek answers on the internet. You, you know, you watch a tarot. You go to some sort of dating advice, you know, or whatever. But it really looks as though you are not very open to other people right now and you are trying to power through and and conquer a battle that you've been having in intimate relationships for a while. The full card is clarified by the six of coins. So one of the things that you know that you want spiritually you want a relationship of equal give and take, and that is what you're attracting. So these energies are attracting one very significant love offer that comes in. The catch is, is that you have to leave something else behind, which you are not ready to do. Now, leaving somebody or something else behind could even be a thought process. It could be the way you look at the world. It could be the rules you set for yourself. But when we get the six of coins, with the Fool card, what you know is that you don't want toxicity. You don't want to be in a situation where you have one relationship and you have to lie to both people. You're juggling two to try to make something work to get a little happiness for yourself. What the biggest thing that I see in your current relationship, Virgo, is that you have a partner, and that would be a marriage partner, uh, or someone with whom you're tied to financially and re in a responsibility sort of way, that that person is not, you know, you give and they take. And you know that spiritually that's not balanced. So you're looking for someone 
who has more of a spiritual core. You're looking for someone and you want someone who has success of their own. So when we look at that world card, you want someone who is a creator, someone and look at this Virgo. This is Virgo and Gemini energy. You need somebody who mirrors who you are in your life. You actually need someone who is more like you. What is it? Birds of a feather flock together. So you need someone who's on the same page with you, who has a similar outlook to you, who has the ability to create in their life in a way that's magical you know the magician is magical and the magician is also magus the healer the doctor so to speak and so the doctor and the answer to what you want that makes you happy is someone who is accomplished much like yourself when we look at the six of swords energy let's clarify that okay now we have the page of pentacles you are trying to make a plan about what the next move is you're looking into the past you're trying to analyze the past you're trying to figure out what you did right and what you did wrong as you look into the future let's get a clarifier for that you want the two of cups you want a soulmate you absolutely want a best friend when you look at these two cups here you're looking at someone who is heart to heart they love you this is a person you could call any time of the day and if they are not doing something else that they are compelled to do they will always pick up your phone call they will always text you back they are there with you when whether they're not whether they're with you physically uh, or not they're certainly always with you emotionally you always know that you can count on this person to get back with you at their earliest convenience and earliest availability the three of cups says that the truth of the matter is you want to have a relationship with your best friend you want to have someone with whom you can have a lot of fun with that you can sit in the evening you could have a glass of coffee a bottle of water you know wine whatever but you want someone with whom you can celebrate life the Three of Cups, when paired with the Ace of Pentacles, those two, when they're next to each other, so to have that's those are the engagement. That's a set of cards required to become engaged. When we get them in a reading, it's significant. When we get them next to each other, so if that card was here, 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 or here, basically touching what represents the ring, the tangible offering of love, then we would actually have an engagement. Right now, what we see is that you do seek a marriage. You do know that you'd have to be single, but you want a legacy relationship. So what we see is that to get here, you have to leave something behind, okay? Or someone else does. The reading can be vice versa. This could also be a person with whom you're having a relationship. It doesn't have to be you specifically that has to leave something behind. It could be your partner or love interest to the person you came to ask about. So let's look and see. So the truth be told, you really like to tell the truth. You don't want a complicated life. You want simple joy and happiness, and you want somebody who's much like yourself. Look at this beautiful energy. Look at what you are attracting. Not only are you powerful in your own right, what you bring to the table is a lot. What we also get is that you have an absolutely incredible ability to attract love. You have a beautiful disposition. People perceive you as very good looking and you are a person who brings a lot to the table. Once you give yourself, you give fully. Right now, we have a situation, Virgo, in which a relationship, be it a, a former uh, spouse, a current spouse, or any kind of relationship in which you share responsibilities financially for children, otherwise, you're having a lot of conflict. There's a lot of ego-driven conflict. That's just constantly being in a state of spat. You know, it's one-upsmanship. It's, you know, it's wanting your way. It's ego-driven. The Page of Pentacles, which has appeared now, again, we have the Page of Wands. So now you have all of the pages. You have three, not all, but three of the pages. 
Oh, wait a minute, Page of Wands. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands twice. We have the Page of Coins and we have the Page of Swords reversed. So you are going through a period of time in which you are plotting, planning, trying to figure things out. You're going through this sort of discovery of what your instincts are. Why is a Queen of Swords here? Okay, so for many of you, you would like to reconcile or work something out with a current partner. For others of you, that if that current partner is not amenable or capable of coming to the table equally with you, of giving equally, again, six of coins energy, you know, temperance card, two cups flowing back and forth, you know, you would rather go it alone. So the Queen of Swords energy again is saying, I'd rather take a road trip alone if I have to than to be with somebody who can't give and take equally. There you go. The Devil card is telling me that you're really tired of toxic energy. You're tired of ego-driven battles. You're tired of people who are not on the same page. You're really tired of anyone who just puts you underwater. You know, Virgo, you like to go out in life and you have things to do, places to go, and people to see and you don't really like very complicated relationships you don't want to feel like you're six feet under you don't want to feel as though you can't speak your truth to someone you don't want someone spying on you all the time when we get the card of the seven of pentacles you know here you are you have to hold back some of you may be even hiding money in a relationship trying to save money to get a divorce or to make an escape so to speak metaphorically or in actuality some of you want to get a divorce the judgment of divorce is coming up you want to release something what i see that you want virgo and the truth be told that the devil energy is here you want to you want to turn your back on that energy. You want to take care of yourself because if the person isn't on the same page with you, you're not having it. This person, this is what you are, Virgo. You're really watching your purse. You're watching everything that you have. You are protecting your heart. You are protecting your wallet because again, the seven of pentacles. So we, you have the desire to have someone in your life romantically that is willing to invest in you. When we look at the seven of pentacles, you're kind of looking and seeing what you have right now. It's a time of assessing. You know, it's like, okay, I'm out in the garden and I wanna see, you know, if I need to do something differently, what do I need to do to create more prosperity, more abundance? What can I do to enhance what I have? And the seven of pentacles says that you only want to invest in someone who wants to invest in you. All right, so you're going, you're very discerning, and that is Virgo, and look at this walking away card. Look at that twice. Eight of Cups and walking away, and but you're walking to blossoming abundance, which speaks to what you're making grow in your life, and to this relationship as being part of that blossoming abundance, which I also see is this, is this energy over here. Okay, so the guardian angel, look at that beautiful Virgo, Virgo. You are very much on an inner journey that will outwardly um, manifest in the very near future. Because you have the magician card, you are manifesting something new. So what we see here, Virgo, is that you have a lover with whom you are figuring out, you're trying to figure out which person you're going to release. Do you want to release a lover who, you know, but I'm getting that the lover may be the protected person here because we have the garden, guardian angel. Look at that. I don't have any lover's card in any other deck that has a guardian angel in the middle of it. This is unique to this deck. And it looks like two very young people. And so what it means is that if you have a very innocent, naive kind of love with somebody, that you need help and spirit is giving you help the guardian angel. Spirit is giving you help to have the confidence to take control of your life, to have the courage to do what you need to do. Because the queen of wands is full of spunk, spark, courage, and guts. It's the Aries queen. She's Mars energy. She's out there. She's going for it. She's taking the leap of faith with the, the fool card. Manifesting. Beautiful. Okay. So why is the page of wands here twice? We have the Page of Wands twice. Why is it here? 
You want a victory. You want to have a victory. You want to be courageous. You want, you want to be able to declare your love publicly for someone. You don't want it to be hidden at this point in time. This can also mean an engagement, a very public engagement. The kiss in front of the jumbotron at the World uh, Cup of Soccer. You know, that sort of thing. All right, the Super Bowl in the United States. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles says that you really want a person that you can get to know. You can get to know them very well. You can really understand them because right now you're in a situation where you do not understand something that's happening in your life. So let's see. So your work life is good, but you need to understand more deeply what is causing you to have these feelings. Now, Virgo, I'm going to say something that a lot of you, um, not the ones visiting me here, because this is a spiritual realm. So if you're watching this tarot reading, this does not apply to you. However, if you are dealing with a Virgo, you have to know a Virgo that, you know, says, well, I don't believe in astrology and I don't believe in uh, therapists and I don't believe in, you know, the subconscious mind. And I just think if you just put two feet down on the floor every day and go forward, that that's what life is about. You have an obstacle here. If that is a person that you are dating, you have to know that there are issues that they have that are getting in the way of the relationship. They're not acknowledging them. They refuse to see them because they just, you know, they feel too vulnerable. And what I'm seeing is that this person, whoever you've been separated from, whomever you have left behind, stepped away from, the person you're hiding from, because I think right now, Virgo, a lot of you are hiding from someone. And what I see is this person is about to come back in. They want to talk to you. Look at this Cancerian energy. This is a person who uh, does not want to be married right now. The, the Hierophant means that they've turned their back on their belief system, on religious beliefs, on everything that they thought was true about marriage. This person is recognizing that uh, the relationship they want involves taking new risks, taking new chances. So you do have somebody that is seeking enlightenment, Virgo, but the Two of Swords is here. We have the Eight of Swords. This is not going to be a fast journey, period. If you're, you know, so if you're waiting for this person, I would say go on about your business. They'll show up when they show up. And if they don't show up, it's because they couldn't get through their toxicity. They could not manage themselves well enough to give you what you want. The Two of Swords says that you're, you're okay with it. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you don't want a bad marriage. You don't want a marriage in which you would be unhappy. You know, you definitely want this sort of Ten of Pentacles type of marriage. For many of you, the Five of Cups, you know, you feel sad right now. So this energy is, you know, just sort of holding on to the love while this person is foolishly juggling uh, over here. So for those of you who are the single in this situation, you're holding on to the love, but you also feel sick to your stomach. You're holding back. You're not talking to this person. You know, you're trying to work through your life and just find your abundance. So why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Because clearly the outcome of this relationship is that you have a new relationship, whether it be a new start with this person or an absolutely new start with a new person. Ten of Pentacles, wow. Okay, so now we have repetition. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. I feel as though this person is going to leave someone else behind, and I feel as though they're. it's sort of like, it's slow moving. It's not going to be fast. It's not going to be obvious to you. It's sort of like stepping onto the ice. This person has stepped onto the ice in their life, and they have they see all these hairline fractures going every time they take a step. So I feel as though, especially if you're a person, if you're dealing with a Virgo, uh, and you could be a Virgo sun, you could be dealing with somebody with a Virgo rising. I feel very much that you are probably dealing with another Virgo uh, in some aspect or another. 
And what I'm seeing is that they will come around. They will leave something behind. They will release something. They will come to you because you have the guardian angel soulmate card, but they will not do it quickly. So let's see what the advice of the Moonology deck is for you at this time. Just working on yourself is truly the answer and avoiding toxicity at all costs. How do you identify toxicity? It's really easy. When you know someone is trying to be manipulative or they're lying or they're doing things that are not beneficial to the relationship, no matter what they are, it's toxicity. It's sort of like either something is poisonous for you and very bad for you, or it's pretty organic, so to speak. Conclusions are within reach. Ooh, look at that. So interesting. It looks like on the next full moon eclipse, you will have answers. Okay. You are good enough, the full moon in Virgo. So Virgo, this is a celebration really in many, many ways. You are celebrating all the accomplishments that you have in life, which are tremendous. You've built so much and now you are really seeking your emotional happiness, your emotional fulfillment. You work so hard all the time. You take care of so many. You're in service to others and it is your time. Step into your power take the time you need find your answers and um, you're going to have your wish fulfillment so sending you love from Chicago send some back Virgo and tell me what you where you're from and tell me what you think of the reading what's your reaction take care bye bye Virgo